thought I'd just do a very quick video just to give you a size comparison with the bright links. It's difficult to see just from having a look at the watch like that um, exactly how it would look um, on the wrist and how it compares in size with other watches. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just pop it uh, next to my st standard kind of current everyday watch which is a Casio G-Shock Crosswind which as you can see fills my wrist quite nicely okay now down there the Breitling can look quite small but if I show you in comparison with the G-Shock you can see that it compares more than favorably size wise if you actually look at the diameter of the face um, it's substantially larger than the G-Shock. Now I have a wrist circumference of 19 centimeters, 19 centimeters, which equates to around seven and three eighths inch. Um, so I have quite a large wrist, and as you can see even though the G-Shock was filling my wrist quite nicely you can actually see thickness wise that the Breitling compares more than favourably and then if you imagine the extension then of the strap continuing out the Breitling would look very impressive so if we just move the G-Shock out of the way and just try and give you a rough idea how the Breitling would sit on the wrist. So as I say with a 19 centimetre wrist, 7 and 3 eighths of an inch, it fills my wrist very nicely indeed. And comes up very impressively and looks very imposing. So I thought I'd just do that quick comparison for you, just so you could get, um, get the sizing into perspective. Hope you find that useful.